Hey there, fellow creatives! Welcome back to another exciting adventure in the world of Unreal Engine. In today's video, we're building upon the knowledge we gained from our previous exploration of the camera rig rail, but this time we're taking it even further. Get ready to take flight with the magnificent camera crane feature. It's like having your very own virtual crane operator, allowing you to effortlessly glide through your scenes capturing every awe-inspiring moment with finesse and precision. So strap in, my friends, as we continue our journey into the captivating realm of camera movements in Unreal Engine. Get ready to raise the bar of your visual storytelling and let your creativity soar. So let's begin and first of all, let me just adjust the layout and the viewport. I'm in the perspective mode. And let's go to the scene that we want to add our crane actor to that. And let me just delete this crane so you would better understand the process of adding a crane and attach a camera to it. So let's add our place actor panel. And here we got it on the left side of our screen and in the cinematics tab, we have this camera crane actor and let's drag it to our scene just like that. And now that we are here, let's add the camera actor that we want to attach to this crane actor. And I think we don't need this place actor plane anymore. So let's get rid of that. And in order to attach the camera to the crane, let's right click on the camera and in the attach to category, let's search for the crane and let's select the crane. And here we got it. We just attached the camera to the crane and let's relocate the camera. And as you can see, it's just snapped and sticked to the camera crane. And here in the details of the crane, we have this pitch option, which controls the up and down motion. And after that, we have a yaw parameter, which controls the rotation among this axis, as you can see. And let me just uh, I want to activate the camera preview from the editor's preferences. So let's just search for it. And yes, here we have it. Let's check this box. And as you can see here, we have a little box which shows us the camera view. So we would better understand how this yaw parameter and also this pitch parameter works, as you can see. And next, we have this crane arm length, which controls the length of the lever of the crane, obviously. And if you have noticed, when we change the value of this pitch or yaw parameters, the camera is still looking forward. Let me show you, just pay attention to the camera view box we have here. And I'm just increasing or decreasing the pitch and camera is still looking forward, okay? It's not rotating in the vertical axis. So this lock mount pitch enables that option. So let me just show you. You can see that by changing the pitch value, the alignment of the camera is just aligned to the arm of the crane and it's not yet snapped in the yaws axis. So we can enable that by checking this lock mount yaw option. And right now we have just completely snapped our camera to the crane, but we don't need these two options. So let's just reset to defaults. And now I want to use this feature specifically on a sequencer, but let me just move this crane to this side of it and let's rotate that and just like that. And here we have a camera that we don't need it. So let's get rid of that and let's activate the look at tracking option on this FBI agent because we have a crime scene that I want to focus on it using the crane feature. So let's create and add a new level sequencer to our project and here we have it. Let's snap it to this side of our editor and I'm gonna add the crane to the sequencer using this plus track button and let's search for it and here we have it. Just click on it and there we go. But before we continue, I want to mention that I've just activated this automatic adding key option to 
adjust the keyframes by changing the value of any actor and let's increase the frames the number of frames that we want to have on this sequence and here we have some buttons that you can see on the details of the crane and these are the buttons for adding keyframes so let me just add a keyframe on the pitch and you, you can see that by clicking on it i've added a keyframe on the sequencer as i did for the yaw and the length of the arm and you can see that by changing the value of either parameters it automatically adds a keyframe thanks to automatic adding keyframe option and let me just increase the length of the arm on the last frame and let's see the result but before that i have to change the viewport to the camera that we set it and let's play the sequence to see what we got here let me just increase the size of the screen and there you have it my fellow creators we've just scratched the surface of the incredible world of camera crane in our engine but don't let this be the end of your journey the magic of cinematic storytelling awaits you and with camera crane as your tool the possibilities are limitless so grab your virtual camera set the stage for our inspiring visuals and let your imagination soar whether you're creating stunning cinematics immersive experiences or breathtaking animations remember to embrace the power of camera crane to bring your vision to life it's time to unlock your creativity break new ground and leave your audience captivated so keep exploring keep experimenting and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible your cinematic masterpiece awaits. Happy filming, my friends.